Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Sands. Alright, we can finally make our way to Corrin's Tower now. So hopefully we'll be able to get there easily. Actually, that seemed much easier than I thought. There was a save point in the village, and yet there's another one right here. Amazing. Fur mat is laid out on the floor. The fuzz on it suggests that it is Corrin's, of course. The pot is filled with some kind of seeds. Probably for senzu beans. Seedlings are sprouting up the soil. This must be where senzu beans come from. And the other memo for Earthling Strike. I think I have all three now. Do I? Yes. Okay, so you need Fierce Attack, Wolf, Hurricane, and Rengeki, of course. Thought as much. The bureau is bursting at the seams with senzu beans. Just kidding, of course. Aww. The bathtub is dry as a bone. Doesn't seem to get much use around here. Because cats don't like baths. Assorted types of fertilizer are stored in the pots. It doesn't smell particularly good. Eh, we expect it's fertilizer. The scroll is written in a language you can't read. Oh no. Oh well. Might as well climb up the tower more. So this must be where we do the training, right? Yo! You guys are late! We can't help it. A lot happened. Alright, now. What's the ruckus all about? These guys took so long to get here. I was starting to think they wouldn't be able to take the training. Corin, it's good to see you again. So, you finally made it. I was watching what went on below, so I guess there was nothing you could do. So, I suppose we're off to see Kami then? Hmm, before that... Hmm? There's a little favor I have to ask. A uh, favor? Yes, that's right. It has to do with senzu beans. Senzu beans? Yeah, I grow them at the bottom of the tower and forgot to give them water. The ceilings all dried up. Oh, that's easy. They dried up? That's right. What I need you to do is go down there and get the water needed for raising senzu. Let me guess, it has to be a special kind of water. What? After we climbed all the way up here, we had to go back down again? Don't get so worked up, Krillin. This is part of training. Corin, we'd be glad to carry out the task. I'm counting on you, but just so you know, the water I use for Sensu plants isn't just any normal water, of course. It has to be filtered water. I mean, where can we find it? There is a cave in the sacred land. The water comes up from a spring deep inside the cave called Hermit Spring. Will you do it? No sweat! Hermit Spring, right? Uh, we're not even allowed to go there. I much appreciate it. Let me guess, I guess now we'll get permission to go in? A small urn sits on the altar. The divine water must be inside of it. Okay. And we got the other memo for Crane Wolf Strike. So what do I need for that? Wolf Fang Fist and Tri Beam. Ah, I see. Hope I'll still remember that. Huh? Oh, I'm not going. You're the ones who took the job. Well, well we didn't ask you. Anyway, it looks like we gotta go all the way back down and uh, get that water. Get some water! That's what's got to be done. I don't know why I'm going back to save. <laughs> it's only this around here. Wait. There's no guard there. What, this water is not good enough for senzu beans? Really? Are you serious? <laughs> we have to go to the deepest part, of course. A statue of corn complete with a rather cute tail. 
Ha! <laughs> Platonic energy. That sounds like my experience with women. Hang on. Platonic energy will at least, at least need Destructo Disc. Ah, I, okay. Well, so much for doing that. Ah, we have another dungeon. Hermit Spring. And I can hop across the lily pads. Whoa! Look at that big burb. Blue Hawk. All right, let's see how much HP it has left. 1,031. Okay, looks like it's weak against fire. We don't really have a fire move, unfortunately. All right, guess we'll just beat it up until we can capture it. You know, it actually looked like it was in front of Krillin. Turns out it was in front of Tien the whole time. I didn't even know. Alright, guys. We gotta try to capture it. Come on, let's do it. First try. Aww. Raspberries. Yeah, Yamcha is actually doing terrible damage. Uh, can you give him a small bean, please? Actually, I think Krillin can go for an attack. It should be fine. Oh! Tien dropped! Use a small bean on somebody that's fainted. Of course, just my luck. Uh, Phoenix Feather. Here we go. I think we're kind of underleveled for this. Yes, yeah, me. Oh my god, now Yamcha's down. They even use like the uh, same uh, sprite for when he normally faints as part of the meme. That's amazing. Come on, capture it, Tien. I'm counting on you. I don't want us to game over like this. Thank you. So, of course, Yamcha gets no experience. The one guy that actually <laughs> needs the experience. Literally the one guy. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, why did it lead us outside? Okay, we can go straight to Hermit Spring from there. That's pretty good. Well, at least we got another monster captured. How many do I have now? Because I did capture more off-screen. Thanks to Yamcha being, like, supremely weak. That helped us out for the earlier monsters I couldn't get. So that's how it looks right now, in terms of my bestiary. And to think there's still a lot of missing entries. I thought I was, like, pretty deep in the game, and then I realized this bestiary is very low. I didn't find another Hungry Bear yet, unfortunately. And I don't think I'll be able to find another Tumblebug, because weren't they in the area where Gohan was? And I can't seem to get there. Plus I can't seem to find another Magmaris anymore. Helper Robot also needs to be captured. But that's usually a summon. For like, reinforcements. Okay, so going right was a bad idea. Let's go left. Oh, we can walk across this. Nice. I mean, it is shallow water. Oh, here's a new enemy. What is that? Spring Guard. Actually, Krillin, you attack. Yamcha, you scout. What on earth? I actually use a staff like it's a springy weapon. Okay, it says maybe around... 600 HP or so. Weak against key. Okay, that's good to know. 
That means that Kamehameha should beat it easily. Oh my god, hopefully this one will live. Of course it doesn't. Because I could have captured that one. Huh? Did that one get revived? Oh. We had to kill two of them very fast. Okay, that changes everything about these guys. I thought they were pushovers. But it turns out they have the ability to revive one another. Okay, this one should definitely be captured. Give it to me, give it to me. Yes! And we took them both out the same turn. Okay, Yamcha, you could use way more defense. And I think more recovery. A defocus card and a Hermit Elixir. Okay, is there a way to get down here? Okay, I didn't even take that many steps. What the hell? No, actually, Krillin, why don't you just use the Kamehameha on that one, too? Save us the trouble. We're definitely gonna need some experience big time. Definitely Yamcha. He will not survive otherwise. Then again, that would be the meme if Yamcha doesn't survive. Was that a counter? I think it was. So I could have swore he already had a turn. Yeah, how do I get that chest? Hmm, maybe there's a way to go down. Yeah, we can't step in this water, can we? No. Huh, that's weird. At least I can get that chest. And at least now we can just go to town on this enemy. Not have to worry about capturing it. Let's just kill it. Because god, this thing is hitting hard. Okay, hopefully I remembered what that move was. Fierce Attack. Rengeki. I think it was Wolf Hurricane or Wolf Fang Fist. I think it's Wolf Hurricane. Yep, there we go. Earthling Strike. Let's see how you like this. I don't think that's going to be enough, but if it is, that would be amazing. Wow, that was enough! That does... That burb got bodied! Hermit medicine. Ugh. I mean, whatever, I guess. I mean, it'd be alright for keeping me sustained. What the... Fudge! Giant fish! But I was, I was saying, it would keep me sustained, but I'd probably lose rage for it. Oh my god, that thing still has a lot of HP. 1296? And Tien is frozen solid. Oof, this is raw. See, is it, get it? Because it's a fish. Fish will be raw. Hits everyone again! And Tien is still frozen solid. I can't capture this thing if it's frozen. If I'm frozen, I mean. Okay, this is just bullshit right there. You see this? I don't, the only way I was not going to get frozen is if I died. You know, maybe without items.
I swear to God. Oh my God. Are you for real now? Yamcha is frozen? I don't know if I can win this fight. Do I have anything I can heal everyone? I should. Okay, yes I do. Krillin for the love of God. Keep us sustained. It had to die to its own poison. What the hell? Also, this encounter rate is really high. See? I just got up there and already we're in another fight. Yeah, we're well below the level we should be for this. So we might want to get a move on fast if we're to survive. Looks like I should get that chest from below. I don't know that it's even worth going for. Okay, we can beat these guys easily. They're no problem. Oh, they can make you fall asleep? And we're running into different kinds of ailments in this one cave. First is the fish that can freeze you. And then apparently these guys can put you to sleep. Well, thank you for hitting me. That woke me up. This is beyond ridiculous now. All because I wanted to keep myself at a low enough level that I don't one-shot creatures. My greed for capturing enemies is getting the best of me. It really is. Okay, that's how I get the chest going down here. Oh, great. A sneak attack. And now Yamcha's dead. Alright, can you scout this crab for me, please? Has 650 HP. Ugh. Yikes. And it hits hard. Of course, it would have to hit hard. Phoenix Feather. Oh my god, we only have three left. Well, after this, is gonna be two, obviously. Screw it, I'm gonna try Solar Flare on Crabs. Wait, that was an escape? Why did I think that was like a, uh... Okay. Solar Flare gives you a good chance to escape. Oh, Tians and Krillins are different! They have the same name move, but they have different effects. Oh, I see. We didn't even revive Yamcha. He's still down. We're just gonna drag him around and everything. He starts getting burns on his back from going against the rocks. A Rush Ring. What is a rush ring? Consumes key to make a normal attack a chain attack. Hmm, do I want to do that yet? Maybe for a boss battle. But I don't know if I want to do that normally. Oh, great. Another new enemy. It's a fish man. I guess we just go all out on this crab. It's already poisoned. Might be able to capture it. I pressed the wrong button. Alright, Fishman doesn't have a lot of HP. 554. That's manageable. Dropping all those crabs is not manageable at all. Yikes. Nice. 
think we'll be okay now. I hope. Capturing that crab was the difference maker. Actually, you defend, you attack, and you defend. I think we might be able to capture this guy, too. Luckily, we have just enough key for that. Just figured I'd use Yamcha to soften him. Nice! We got two enemies right there. Tien's close to a level. That's convenient. Alright, we're going back. Come on, man. I definitely don't want to fight the fish. Oh, thank god, that's right there. Oh, game changer. I don't know how well we're gonna do. Let's take a look at our accessories. I do like the fighter's mark on Tien still. I do like the psionic bracelet on Krillin still. Don't think I'm gonna worry about the counter bracelet that much. Let's go with the rush ring on Yamcha. Then again, his attack is terrible. Maybe I'll put the Chala on him? No. I think Tien should get the Chala. Even though Krillin has more power. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Instead of evasion, why don't we go with... Defense. I think we're pretty close to the end of this cave. Yeah, see? There's a lot of flowers. If I miss treasure, don't worry about it, because I'll get it later. So this is the place. So we just need to take the water from here, right? Let's get this water back and get to training. Right. There's gonna be a catch. See? What's this thing? Hey, you there! This is corn special water. I'm not just gonna gonna just let you have it. But we're doing this for corn. Hey, calm down! Corn himself asked us to come and get the water for him. What's that? Lying won't get you anywhere. Oh! Spring Majin. Oh boy. Wait, why is Krillin up there? I don't remember putting you there. Let's scout out the Spring Majin. I think we'll go with Perfect Moves for Yamcha. I would like to scout out this enemy too, if I can help it. HP is unknown? Is that a, not a boss, is it? Oh! I see the problem. Yeah, that is gonna be an issue. If it's gonna heal after every turn, do not want. We're gonna need to scan that Spring Guardian too. Okay, the Spring Guardian actually offers very little experience in AP. So is the Spring Majin the real target? Because we don't see the HP of either of them. Oh, I hit that way too early. God damn. Guess you'll have to use another Destructo Disc, Krillin. And you use a medium beam. Let's do this.
We might be able to survive this fight without having to use a Phoenix Feather. Might. I'm not saying we will. Man, I can't dodge that attack for the life of me. And Yaksha didn't even get to be healed. Alright, HP Capsule 50 is going to be the way to go. I know you're all still raging, but you need to hold off a little bit more. Actually... Let's use Tri-Beam now. And I think it was Wolf Fang Fist? Yeah, let's try the Crane Wolf Strike. You might be able to soften up that Maji, because it hasn't been healed in a while. I don't know if we're supposed to take out the Majin or the Guardian first. Oh, its defense is up. Why does that thing have a Mortar Cannon? What even is this game? Well, in that case, I better go after the Guardian. This might actually turn out better than I thought. I can never block that move even once! That move always hits me, but when the Guardian hits me, I can block it easily. That timing is deceptive. I know, convenient excuse, but still. I don't think Solar Flare is going to do me any favors. Actually, here's what I'm thinking. What is the move I can use? Probably Ringeki. You would heal Yamcha. And you use Wolf Hurricane. So we'll just use a regular Charging Rush. That's still not enough to beat that Majin. Oh, hit that too early. Oh my god, I actually blocked it for once. There really is a god. <laughs> I had no idea. Let's unleash our key on this guy. None of them are about to die. That's crazy. Oh, I hit that way too early. And look what happened to Krillin. Got absolutely wrecked. Alright, use a medium bean on yourself. God, now I'm starting to think maybe I should be attacking the Guardian now. But I put all this work attacking the Majin. I think I should just keep attacking the Majin because I already went this deep. Krillin is pretty much the best guy because he can hit both of them. Ah, damn, I hit that way too early. Well, this thing's gotta go soon. This thing will not die! And every time we get hit, somebody's at critical. Every time! It never ends! Alright, screw it, attack the Guardian. Maybe it doesn't have a lot of HP. I'm pretty much going against my strategy here. Wait, why did I give two beats to Krillin? I actually meant to give him, like, something for his key. Oops!
Oh, hit that too early. Yeah, Tien's down. Damn it! I cannot block to save my life sometimes. No, not. Oh! I meant to go to item, and I forgot it's on the top. Wait. That was actually attacking Krillin? That fooled me. It really did. Oh my god, I, I'm, all, I'm all over the place, guys. I really am. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this on Krillin. He needs it. Yeah, he's needed a lot of healing. But honestly, Tia needs some key as well. Oh my god, the Majin's down. Finally. Now it's down to one enemy. That way too early. What else is new? Alright, let's get to work. Now that it's just the Guardian, we should be okay. Should be, I'm not saying we will. We only should be okay. Seems to dodge physical attacks easily, though. That could be a problem down the road. Can you heal up Krillin, please? Seriously? I'm gonna knock his book down. Finally! What a pain in the ass that was! Oh, Krillin leveled up. Good stuff. Good stuff. And Tien leveled up. One point to luck, and you know what? A point to power as well. Yamcha leveled up twice. We got a Demon Bravery and a Corn's Canteen. Ooh, beautiful. I wonder what Corn's Canteen does. Looks like a capsule. Phew! How could Corn not tell us ahead of time about that weird thing being here? Would have been nice to know. Oh well, we got the Hermit Spring water. Well, at least we were able to get the water from the spring. Alright! Let's hurry back to the tower. Yeah. Okay, and we just get sent out of the tower instantly. Or out of the cave instantly, which I'm not complaining about. Raises the speed your key meter refills. Oh, okay, that's probably for, like, outside on the field. Although, what really do I need it for? It doesn't recharge the key I get, you know, in battle. If it did that, that would have been much better. You know, I could have just climbed up to the tower that way, too, but... It's... Oh, wait, no, I do have to go up here. I'm a dumbass. You heard it here, folks. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> but at least I made it past that fight. Albeit with, uh, much stress. Alright, let's get a move on. Alright, that should help the Senzu beans, right? Corrin! You brought back the water from Hermit's Spring. Oh ho ho! That was faster than I expected! Yeah, we did it all in one episode, too. Let's see here. Ah, this is some good water you brought me. Hey! Yajirobe! Hmm? Would you go to the bottom and give my Senju beans this. Senju plants this water for me? Huh? I suppose I got no say in the matter. You're right. You don't. Now go and water them. What are those beans? What are them? I mean, corn? What is it? We met some weird thing at Hermit Spring. Oh, I forgot to tell you. That's the spirit of the water. 
It protects the water for me down there while I'm up in the tower. Yeah? There was a problem with that. Uh, Spirit? <laughs> He's got a good sense of humor. He give you all a warm welcome? No. I mean, yeah, sure. We don't mean to be in a rush, but could you show us the Kami's place? Oh, that's right. But to get there, you're gonna need a power pole. A power pole? The pole that Goku carried around? So we won't be able to get there without it? Don't worry. Last time Goku tried to go to Kami's place, he said he lost the pole. So I made something just in case. I didn't think I had to use it so soon. Here, take it. Good luck with your training with Kami. Thank you! And they just disappeared. Oh, you run pretty fast. Huh? Where'd everyone go? Oh! I completely forgot about you! Isn't everybody... How could you? Hey! I'm coming too! And so, Krillin, Yamcha, Tien, and Chiaotzu began their rigorous training through Kami. In another part of the world, Goku has successfully lived through a harsh six months in the, the waste. Or Gohan has successfully lived through a harsh six months in the waste as part of Piccolo's training. Why did I say this is Goku? Wow, this took a whole six months, for real? <laughs> hmm, that's weird. It feels like someone's watching me. Must be my imagination. I'm the only one here. No, wait. Someone's there. Feels like that green man's key. It's been six months now. I wonder if he's here for me. Well, I guess we will have to save and find out. Well, Golan was at a really low level last time. Oh, he still is. He's still in Break Wasteland. Alright. Oh, my phone's ringing for real. I guess I'll see you guys for the next part. Goodbye now.